Okay, hello, this is my first powder game video. I had to fix it a bit, so I hope you like it. The first thing I'm starting off with doing is my special little bomb I've made. It took uh, quite a long time to make, like around two hours, but it was, but the results are pretty nice. Okay, here this part is. Kills every single fighter with a lot of bouncy balls. Now in slow motion, even though I don't even know if you like it like that. Well, mostly just frame by frame. Anybody gets touched by the wave, dies. It's pretty funny. I love it. One survives to the very end, but then dies. There that was. Hope you like that. Okay, here's one of the other things I was going to make. I'll get rid of shade. It's getting in the way. Hold on. Something got to fix. Okay, good. All the walls are covered in metal. And it's not stopped. Just fill in with Sophie like last time. Speed up time. Okay, good. Now it's at a good point. I wait, sorry. Okay, now you get thunder. It pin size zero and drop it down. This will create thunder or lightning. Sometimes it works right, sometimes it doesn't. Ah, the first time I worked with it, but that's it's okay now. In the middle of this, I'm also going to show you something else that I like. Okay, just I'll just put in some ants because that will make it work a little bit faster. That's a little bit too many. Time to kill them all. You drop a little bit of magma as needed. And when you think there's enough, drag it and move it around across the metal. It will melt the metal and it's like tunneling through. Then when there's enough more magma, just grab that as well and start destroying. Kill all those ants first, otherwise you will take forever to take get rid of it all. Okay, yeah, you've seen all that. Now here's something else I was planning on having. It's the little flaming arena. It's really not flaming, it's just fun. You put your player and right click on player and right click fire to cause it so that he's a like can shoot up flames if you hit the down arrow. Put down all fighters in just one simple spot. Once they're all there, just send your character jump off and kill as many as you can. The highest amount of guy them of them you can kill is I believe fifty. And my highest amount I've ever killed before is forty seven.
I might actually kill them all this time. Oh, died because of my own flame. Okay. It was just one other thing I wanted to show you. There might be more that I might have forgotten, but I just hope you like it all. Make sure that you people have fun. Okay, with all that, grab a torch and just put it right against this wood here. And as you can see, the wood will turn into torch. And then just walk, drop water over it and you destroy it all. Okay, there's one other thing that I want to show you that I know of, and it's something I discovered while s just waiting for my other videos to get uploaded. Take all the ants. Now put just put powder over him. And then put size dots to zero. And just put seed over that. It can also be done with metal, but this way it's, it's funner. Because then you can just burn everything after. Even though I'm not going to do that so that I have enough time for anything else. You just drop a couple of ants on him. Now watch this. If they're smart enough to go down, look at this. It should. It's, there you go. Now there's just some magnet, magma over it and destroy it all. One other thing that I think you'll like, and then I'll probably forget everything else I want to do. Just put this like that. Takes a little bit of seed, you won't need much at all for this. Do that. Okay, drag some of the wood out of the way. You don't need to need, need that much. You'll put it in a corner or something like that. Now raise up the drag size and grab water. Okay, now drag this. Watch. It's, it should cause an automatic tree maker wherever you move your mouse around. It takes a bit of time for me to perfect this, so next time I do it, it should be a lot better. Oh, there we go. Well, I hope you like this. And see you next time I make a video.